Good morning. Or is it? I don't have a very good start of the day. I'm looking, I'm going through the laundry because usually when I don't feel like folding it the night before, I put it in Mateo's bed and then I fold it the next day. And I'm going through the laundry and I'm seeing that every single item has a stain on it, like a chocolate stain. And I'm thinking, why? <laughs> Does this washing machine work or... And then I found this. Yep. This, for some reason, and I don't know how, got into the washing machine and the dryer. So all of this stuff that I washed has to be rewashed. And let's just hope that the chocolate stain uh, comes off of everything. On top of that, I'm feeling very tired. And I felt tired uh, yesterday as well. I even went to bed with Mateo when he took a nap. I don't know why I'm so tired lately. Uh, for the last two days, I feel like I don't have much energy. Uh, like, um, like somebody's sitting on me. Somebody wants to go out without any pants. ¿Y los pantalones qué? ¿Y los zapatos? ¿No están? Hay que ponérselos. We're getting ready to go out, but this guy doesn't want to put pants on. ¿Vale? Ah, ok. Vamos, saltamos. Cuidado, no te caigas. Yo te ayudo, espera. Mateo. Vamos. Ya. Yeah. Vale, uno, dos, tres. Go. Yeah. Muy bien. Well, we had some lunch where Nick works. And I'm still feeling like I'm dragging myself everywhere. Mateo is chilling. Uy, uy, ya está. ¿Me lo das? Tiramos a la basura. Somebody just stopped me because he thought I was taking a picture of Mateo and he offered to take a picture of us. He didn't know I was filming. <laughs> That's funny. Um, we're going home. So I still feel like I'm dragging myself everywhere. I'm really tired and Mateo should take a nap and should take advantage. Ooh, dead pigeon. To rest. We are back home. Mateo is up from his nap and I don't know why I'm singing. Hey! I feel better. I feel less tired. But that's because of this teeny tiny coffee that I had right here. I think it worked. I don't know. But I feel not tired anymore. Anyway, I wanted to show you something. On Saturday, I'm actually excited because a friend of mine... Hello! Hey, ¿qué haces? What in the world? Mateo, ¿qué haces? Hey, ¿qué haces allá abajo? Sube. Sube que te doy un plátano, ve. I don't know what he's doing down there. Um, on Saturday, we are going to see I will show you the website, but it will be much nicer to see in the vlog. We're going to see a garden. We are going to get introduced into the gardening world. <laughs> There's this guy that makes his own edible garden. Everything that he plants, you can eat. And he's a landscape architect. And um, Nick and I also have always had the, the dream of uh, growing our own stuff, tomatoes, uh, lettuce, and we would love to do that. Now, we might have the chance to do that uh, in our next house. And that's all I'm gonna say now for today because, you know, I'm, I'm not completely 100% um, sure of everything, but we might be moving and uh, if we, we're gonna have, sorry about the noise, doink. A, a very big, not a very big garden, but a good sized garden and we will be able to plant our own stuff. And this guy on Saturday is going to show us how he does it. This is his website and the stuff that he makes is so pretty. It's not just um, gardening for the sake of eating, it's also beautiful. He, uh, he plants flowers that you can eat. Everything that he plants on his garden is edible. So. He charges like uh, two euros, three euros. Uh, you can go for a few hours. They 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 uh, invite you for a drink as well, a drink that they made naturally with their own stuff that they produce, that they they grow. 
Um, a friend of mine, my friend Lynn, told me about this and I'm very excited to go because uh, we could get some tips on how to grow our own stuff when we have the chance and I'm hoping it will be soon. And uh, I won't bore you with the website because it's in Dutch and I know uh, most of you don't speak Dutch. Neither do I, by the way. I don't understand it very well. But we're going this Saturday, so uh, I hope you guys enjoy our visit. I will try to vlog as much as possible. And um, I, will, I would love to show you some of the stuff that he has uh, designed because it's, it's really pretty, the stuff on the website. So looking forward to that. Um, okay, now I have to change a stinky pamper. So Nick usually sometimes takes a break in the middle of the day, which is very good because it makes me, well, it allows me to have a break. But today, it doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. But uh, sometimes that means that he can come home sooner, but ugh. such long days. He just, he leaves in the morning around seven and he doesn't come home until 10. And Mateo is basically asleep when he gets back. So it's really tough. I, I really wish the situation was different and I'm trying to change it. We are trying to change it and I hope we can. But uh, the hours are just the killer. All right, una pompa. Oh no. Ah, no. No, otra más. Uh. Wow. Ooh, pompas. I got Mateo this bike in the second hand store and I am trying to teach him to ride it. When we bought it, it was too small. Well, he was too short, and now he's the right height, and he's riding it! Yay! These bikes are supposed to be very good for your balance. And I see a lot of kids riding them, and they get so fast. They ride down the street really fast, which is kind of scary, because he already goes fast enough with his motorbike. But uh, he's, he's getting the hint of this one. He's doing good. Muy bien! Nick is gonna be so happy because we've been trying to get him on this bike and he was always afraid of it. Finally, he had the courage to ride it. <laughs> Muy bien! Sigue, sigue! Muy bien! some groceries now. I'm Mateo. You see that big football? I don't know if you can see it. Mateo has seen it and he's gone nuts. So we have to get closer and check it out. Vamos a ver el balón. Balón. Oh, Mateo got shy. That plays with the ball, with the football, was a, a goal. And if you could hit the goal once, they gave you a Belgian flag for the World Cup. <laughs> and they asked Mateo, he was about to do it, but he got shy at the last minute. So he didn't get his Belgian flag. It's amazing because he's very social, but now he's starting to get a little bit more uh, uncertain of people that he doesn't know. <laughs> so when they got closer to him and they told him what he needed to do, he got all shy. ¿Qué es eso, Mateo? Coches. Uh, avión, helicóptero. Anyway, we're gonna hang around here for a while and. Uh, figure out what we're making for dinner. Uh, Mateo's in trouble? No! Now I'll take a look at my coach. Coach is big. The coach is big. Yeah, coach is big. Oh no! He got another car. They're only 190 and it's the only way to get him to sit here. Okay, today is the day. I am making the Spanish tortilla omelette that I talked to you guys about. Um, let me just tell you, I bought something that's quite disgusting. I um, recommend that you don't buy it. I was trying to get chips, but I like a healthier option. I got these Special K cracker chips with sea salt. 
Um, they are bad. Let me just tell you, these pop chips, they don't have a lot of fat, but they substitute the flavor with a lot of salt. So you gotta choose a lot of fat or a lot of salt. To be honest, I prefer the original chips. These are way too salty and they give a really funny aftertaste. Anyhow, um, I bought some bread. I bought Matteo a car that um, he is playing with. I got some potatoes. And that's all I got because I have everything else. This is a really simple dish. I only need onions, uh, eggs, and potatoes. Where are my eggs? Yeah, I have eggs. Oh no. Two eggs. Ooh, I'm gonna make a small one. For the tortilla, super simple. The first thing I do is to cut up some onions and I cut up some potatoes. And I need eggs and that's pretty much it. So we cut up the onions and we let them cook, saute for a little bit until they're soft. And uh, I'm gonna make a small tortilla because I don't have a lot of eggs. I only have two. So uh, usually it has to be a good ratio uh, to make like a, like a cake with the potatoes. So uh, for two eggs, this is all the potatoes. I use two big potatoes for two eggs. So anyway, I'm gonna let this cook a little bit and then I add the potatoes. Okay, potatoes are cooking. There are not a lot of potatoes, but like I said, I only have two eggs. So in the meantime, while the potatoes are cooking, I beat up a couple of eggs. If you want your tortilla really fluffy, the idea is to beat it up until you get something very foamy, then the tortilla will be nice and fluffy. Uh, the potatoes are cooked and I just strained it because you cook them with quite a bit of oil so you strain them and you take most of the oil out you just leave a little bit of the oil to make the tortilla itself and now it's only me so I can't really show you how I do this with both hands but uh, I'm gonna put the uh, potatoes mix it with the egg and then all together is gonna go in the pan so doink 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 Here we go, so um, I added the potatoes to the egg and I put it in the pan. The most difficult part of this dish, which is not that difficult, is uh, to flip it. If you're used to it, it's not difficult, but if you do it for the first time, it can be tricky. So you have to flip this, and uh, so the other side can cook as well. I have a device, like this, and uh, what you do is you cover it and you just turn the pan and cook the other side. The potatoes are cooked, the egg cooks really fast, so it's basically done. There you go! Dee -dee -dee, my tortilla! A comer! Vamos! Te gusta Mateo? It's really yummy, but if you had more eggs and more potatoes, it would be taller and uh, heavier, but it's okay, it's a really thin one, it still tastes good. Ah, tortilla was so yummy. Anyway, I'm gonna say goodnight because it's 10 and I'm gonna try to put Mateo to sleep. He just pooped. He went poo three times today. Small installments. But eventually he is breaking his fear of pooping, which is really great. I'm very happy about that. I will see you guys tomorrow. As always, subscribe if you like this video, if you want to see more for uh, daily vlogs. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye. You want to say goodnight? Bye, bye. You want to help me make my tea? Yeah, you do. Wouldn't that be nice?